Welcome to the online session of Power Plant Engineering. My name is Vishal Acharya. Today we will discuss about the high pressure boiler characteristic, Lamont boiler, Benson boiler and Paradox boiler. First we will discuss the characteristic of the modern high pressure boiler. First modern power boiler are the water tube boiler. So here pressure range is critical pressure range and the they have a force type of water circulation so here in a tube pressure higher than the natural circulation this type of boiler use the feed water heater so here increase the combustion capacity of boiler it is the modern method of the firing like pressurized firing cyclone furnace fluidized bed combustion so here combustion efficiency is also increased. They are used the FD and ID fan means the force draft and induced draft fan for the creating the necessary draft. So here the circulation of the air and the exhausting part of the fuel gases is very efficiently. They use the treatment so that here the corrosion property of boiler is prevented by the use of the feed water treatment plant it is uh, use various control for the pressure temperature water level and etc they use the complex assembly of TV operator super heater reheater economizer hair heater so here increase the heat transfer effectiveness what is the Lamont boiler Lamont boiler is a high pressure force circulation water tube boiler with internally fire furnace and external pump is used to circulate the water within the small diameter water tube of the boiler. This boiler was invented by the Walter Douglas Lamont in the year 1925. At the time, this boiler was invented to use in the ships. The working principle of the Lamont boiler, it works on the principle of the force circulation water within the boiler with the help of centrifugal pump. This working is totally depend upon the pump. The centrifugal pump circulates the mixture of the steam and water throughout the small diameter tube of the boiler. The main part of the Lamont boiler feed pump is supplied to the feed water into the boiler from the hot well. Second is the economizer. It increases the temperature of the feed water to the some degree. Here next part is the steam separating drum. Its name indicates that the steam separating drum separate the steam from the water and the steam gets collected at the upper portion of the water at and lower portion of the drum means the upper part fill with the steam and lower part fill with the water circulating pump it is the circulating pump driven by the turbine it is circulate the water from the steam separating drum to the small diameter tube of the radiant superheater and convective superheater and back to the steam separating drum Radiant evaporator, the water steam mixer with the help of the radiation means increase the temperature of water. Convective evaporator, it changes the mixture of the steam and water into the saturated steam. Here convert to the weighted steam into the saturated steam through the convective mode of the heat transfer. Next is the superheater. Superheater is the steam to be desired temperature of for the striking on the turbine blade. In a Lamont boiler working first feed pump water circulated into the economizer. In a economizer the temperature of the water increased slightly and, and economizer is transferred to the steam separating drum. In a steam separating drum water is circulated in, to the radiant evaporator by the using the centrifugal pump here the water transfer by the force circulation so here the pressure inner inner side of the tube is higher compared to the natural circulation of water in a radiant evaporator temperature water is increased by the radiation action and water and steam mixer produced in a radiant evaporator and the 
the mixture is transferred to the convective evaporator in a convective evaporator almost the, all the water particle is converted into the saturated steam and the saturated steam is transferred to the steam separating them its name indicates the here steam is separated in the above part or upper part of the steam drum and uh, here steam is transferred to the superheater and superheater in a superheater the steam temperature increase and converted into the superheated steam and superheated steam supply to the turbine blade to impact the jet the working pressure of the boiler is 170 bar temperature is 773 kelvin and the capacity of the boiler is 50 ton per hour the advantage of the lamont boiler is can be easily started a high steam generating capacity means the 15 tons per hour it has a high heat transfer rate this boiler can be reassembled with the natural circulation boiler its design is very simple here main disadvantage of this type of boiler there is a bubble formation at the surface of the tube in the boiler this reduces the heat transfer rate to the steam what is the benson boiler benson boiler is a high pressure drumless supercritical water tube steam boiler with four circulation this boiler was invented in the year 1922 by the mark benson this boiler is a super critical boiler in which the feed water is compressed to the super critical pressure and this prevent the formation of the bubbles in a water tube surface the bubbles do not form because at super critical pressure the density of water and steam becomes the same for the mark benson who first proposed the idea to compress the water at super critical pressure before the heating into the boiler and due to the latent heat of water reduced to here zero as the latent heat of water reduced to the zero the water is directly changed into the steam without the formation of bubble here construction part of the benson boiler air preheater it preheat the air before the entering into the furnace the preheated air increase the burning efficiency of the fuel second part is economize heat the water to the certain temperature third part is the radiant superheater it is the superheater the that heat the water with the radiation produced by the burnt fuel it raises the temperature to the super critical temperature convection evaporator is a device to superheated water and convert them into the steam it does so by the convection mode of the heat transfer to the water from the hot fuel gases next is the convective superheater is superheats the steam to the desired temperature nearly 650 degrees celsius next is the furnace furnace it is the place where the fuel is burned and last feed pump it is used to supply the water inside the boiler at the super critical pressure of 225 bar in the working of a benson boiler here water is circulated in a evaporator by the help of the feed pump here feed pump is to produce the high pressurized water and supply to the economizer and economizer here tem increase the temperature of water and transfer to the radiant superheater in a radiant superheater water is converted into the wet steam by the help of the radiation of furnace and mix water and steam is passed to the convective evaporator in a convective evaporator almost all the water particle is converted into the saturated steam and saturated steam passed to the convective superheater in a convective superheater is converted into the superheated steam and applied to the turbine here no use the any drum separator so here high pressurized water is enter so here latent heat is zero so is converted into the directly steam this is the basic principle and working of the benson boiler the various advantage of benson boiler here it is drumless boiler hence the weight of this type of boiler is 20% less as compared to the other type boiler so is light in the weight here is occupy small floor area for its erection and explosion hazard is among 
almost negligible because of the use of the smaller diameter tubes it can be started very easily within a 15 minutes it avoid the bubble formation due to the supercritical pressure of water transportation is very easy this boiler may be achieved the thermal efficiency up to the 90 percent the application of the super critical boiler like a benson boiler is used for the different industry to generate the steam for the production of the electricity or mechanical power the average operating pressure and temperature and capacity of benson boiler is to 650 degrees celsius temperature 250 bar pressure and 135 tons per hour is the generating capacity in the last we will discuss about the velox boiler velox boiler is four circulation water tube boiler it is mostly used in a gas turbine in this boiler the velocity of fuel gases is greater than the velocity of sound which causes the more heat transfer from the gas to the water which increasing the steam generation rate due to this it is most important type of boiler when the main principle of the velox boiler here when the velocity of the gas is greater than the speed of the sound heat heat transfer rate is all increased so more heat transfer from the gas to the water as compared to the when the heat transfer at the subsonic speed. This is the basic principle of Velox boiler. This boiler can increase the heat transfer rate or can say steam generation rate without the increasing the size of the boiler. This is why boiler is most successful boiler in the gas turbine industry. Here the construction part of the Velox boiler is a water cir tube circulation boiler. It has a gas turbine driven by the air compressor which compress the air. The compressed air enter to the vertical combustion chamber in so one figure as a result high rate of heat release from the fuel which increase the fuel gases velocity up to sound velocity. This is the full circulation boiler. So pump is used to circulate the water inside the boiler. This boiler also consists of water and fire tube to maintain the flow of gas and water inside the boiler. This boiler is also consists of other necessary mounting and necessary like economizer, superheater, blow off valve and safety valve etc. The principle of the Velox turbine. In a Velox turbine atmospheric air enter into the compressor and here compressor is a device which convert the higher pressure air at higher pressure and higher temperature and pass to the combustion chamber or vertical combustion chamber here the fuel gases is combustion start and here produce the more and uh, in a lower part the fire tube and here the feed water pump is transferred to the economizer here economizer some temperature increase and then transfer to the separator here water circulating tube here the water circulating tube here velocity is very high 10 to 15 times of the evaporator volume so here the heat transfer rate is more and the time is very less so here the heat transfer rate is very accurately and the water is converted into the steam and steam temperature above the part of the steam is transferred to the superheater and superheater is converted to the high pressurized and high temperature steam pass to the turbine here the main part here gas turbine for the compressed air and water circulating tubes here steam temperature and superheater the advantages of the velox boiler this boiler has a high heat rate transfer it has a great flexibility it is a compact in a design it is a easy to control and it is the fully automatic it has a great thermal efficiency of about 90 to 95 percentage thank you